So there's many different ways that people can and, and do choose to donate to the hospital. Um, we have many caring individuals, businesses, foundations, organizations um, that give to us every year. Um, people give um, in memory or in honor of loved ones. They attend our events. They host their own events. Mm -hmm. um, a very important uh, group of donors that we have is our monthly donors who have uh, made a pledge to make a certain commitment every month. Um, and it's, it's important for us because it's funds that are predictable, they're reliable, we can really um, shape and plan um, the future knowing that we have this, this ongoing income from, from these donors. And from the donor perspective, um, it really simplifies things for them. They, they set it up, they pick an amount that works for them, a timeline that works for them, mm -hmm. and they get their one receipt at the end of the year and they know that they're supporting their hospital every month and, and for as long as they choose to do so. Our family have cottaged in Muskoka for many, many years until my husband and I decide to actually make it our permanent home. In all the years we've been associated with Muskoka, I would guess that just about every member of my family at one time or another has paid a visit to the hospital. Mm -hmm. Accidents, illnesses, you name it. Um, the thing that stands out most in my mind is that the year the hospital was facing possible closure of the emergency, uh, the date I believe was September the 8th, I've forgotten the year, but 10 days after the proposed closure date, my father had a series of stroke-like seizures and we were told when he was treated here at the emergency that if he hadn't made it here, he wouldn't have survived. So we have a eternal sense of gratitude for what the hospital was able to offer my family. And uh, I've been quite happy, very happy, to have been able with my husband to make donations every year and more recently decided to make it monthly, which just overall eases the, uh, the draw on the account <laughs> and uh, it's an amount that we're comfortable with and will continue to increase over the years. So we have our business partner program and that is local businesses that uh, value local health care for their staff, for their community, uh, for their families mm -hmm. and these businesses have made a pledge of a certain amount over five years. Um, we have quite a number now that have, have come forward and, and signed up in this meaningful way. Mm -hmm. And again, it's, it's so impactful for us because it is a, a reliable um, source of funding that we know we're going to have every year. And um, when, when so many businesses come together, it is really impactful what they're able to accomplish. You know, we believe in Muskoka Chrysler the importance of good health care. And uh, that's what the hospital has brought to Muskoka. You know, over the years, it's probably been almost 60 years that, you know, the community has been supported by, by the hospital, and we just believe that's important for all of us. You know, throughout the years, it's, it's helped serve, you know, not only friends, but our families. And, uh, you know, that, that means something to us, and it's very important. You know, I'd also like to, you know, just thank Leah, you know, and and the board for everything they do. They're raising awareness, you know, they're, they're raising funds. So it's very important to our community. So we have somewhat recently launched our Legacy Society. We have a beautiful wall in our, um, the lobby of the uh, hospital here. Mm -hmm. And it lists some of our current Legacy uh, Society members. So a Legacy donor is someone who is, is planning ahead really and is thinking about how they want to make an impact beyond their lifetime. So people who are leaving gifts in their wills or um, you know, registered uh, retirement plans, life insurance, things like that. And quite often what we see is that people are able to have a much greater impact um, than they're able to during their lifetime. And so they really are leaving a legacy and they're, they're saying that they want to take care of future generations to come and we value them so much. Well, I've been uh, associated with the hospital on the foundation board and the hospital board for a number of years and I'm aware of the fact that fundraising is very difficult 
it's, there are different stages of fundraising eras here. And um, when we did the rebuild here, I decided that I would uh, uh, personally bought a life insurance policy for my legacy donation so that uh, that would uh, be available to the hospital uh, eventually. I mean, and there are a number of ways you could be a legacy donor. You can buy an annuity or, or uh, you can write, write a clause in your estate that the hospital would benefit and, and um, it's a really great way to support the hospital in my opinion. We rely on donations from the community in order to make sure we have the equipment and tools and technology that we need. Um, so every dollar counts, every donation counts. If people are interested in supporting the hospital in any capacity, please reach out, visit us online, healthmuskoka.ca or call one of our offices. We are more than happy to chat with you.